Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. I am an Apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. You've made it just in time for the Daily Mop. And in today's message of power, I'm going to be giving you three tips on how you can conquer slumpy spiritual Mondays. Roll that clip. <laughs> Now imagine with me, you just had an unbelievable Sunday. And you know what Sundays I'm talking about. I'm talking the music was lit, people are running up and down the aisles, you literally see chains falling off people, there is people are receiving biblical revelation. You're just you're just on fire. You've got this this spiritual high that you just can't contain and you're just like, you know what? When I leave this church service, I'm just gonna tell everyone who the name of Jesus is. <laughs> and you're just going absolutely nuts. And if you're Apostolic Pentecostal, you definitely know what I am talking about. I'm talking about one of those services. But then Monday comes around. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll read my Bible. Yeah, Pastor, I'll, I'll do that. As First Lady, I'll, I'll do that. Where did that spirit high go? You just wish you could just go back in time and and just relive that experience. But however, time travel isn't available to us as we speak. But no worries, I'm gonna be giving you three tips on how you can conquer what I am calling slumpy spiritual Mondays. Tip one, start with prayer. See, you gotta get connected back to the source that gave you that spiritual high in the first place. You know, as a matter of fact, even though you're feeling spiritually down, the great thing about experiencing uh, a spiritual high is you just go up a little bit higher. So how you were Saturday and how you are Monday is completely different. Tip number two, jam out to breakthrough. No, but on a serious note, that song is absolutely amazing. If you were at NYC 17, I don't know what you were doing with your life. It was literally like the greatest, greatest thing ever with 33,000 apostolics together in the stadium, worshiping the one true God. But with no further ado, let's get into the final tip. And tip number three is you gotta plug into the word. And it might not just be physically opening up your Bible, which I would highly recommend, but maybe you just don't wanna read that morning. And I completely understand your flesh is literally telling you no. No! No, God, please, no! But you can still hear the word of God. And so what I'm going to recommend, I recommend Revival Radio. It is not the sponsor of this video, unless you wanna sponsor me. It's a, if you're not familiar with it, it's a radio station that literally plays 24 hours a day, seven days a week, apostolic Pentecostal preachers. So you know you're being fed the truth. So, hey, if you found this video useful, I want you to do four things for me. One, I want you to like and share this video with your friends, apostolic or not, doesn't even matter. Number two, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you personally get over those spiritual slumpy Mondays. Number three, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And four, don't forget to hit, hit that bell notification so you know exactly when I release a new video. But with no further ado, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you.